The sun is just starting to come up and I am working on a proof of concept to be able to pump water in a remote location for a couple of friends. You can see the uh, sunlight on the top of the panel. It's uh, pretty well shaded right now. So this is probably going to be a worst case scenario once we get it to the site. it will have this much sun. But I will take you behind the scenes and show you what's going on. This is all built from pallet wood. So we have 15 volts from the solar panel coming into the charge controller and then go into the battery. So it's a 12 volt battery. Step out, hopefully you can hear me a little better. It's a 12 volt battery, so it's my understanding that any electricity coming into the charge controller that is over 12 volts will charge the, uh, the 12 volt battery. So we're at 15 volts with very, very little sun. Isn't it? So that means, if I'm correct, we could have a dead battery hooked up to this and it would still pump water when the sun is hitting the solar panel. So that's kind of what we want, something uh, just super cheap, super uh, functional, and then we could just prove it out, see if it works, see if there's enough water pressure. Uh, then we could throw money at later or build it up to be something else. Here's a look from a different angle. So the solar panel, because it's it's glass, it's acting as the roof to shield the electrical components. Um, I think what I would like to do is where these side braces are actually have a, a full triangle. Uh, it doesn't have to be waterproof, but just to block any rain that would be blowing in sideways, so it wouldn't hit the uh, the battery and the charge controller. Um, I think if this lasts a year for the price of all these components, they're all used. You can check out Santan Solar if you want some really quality solar panel products that are used but still have a lot of life left in them. But this is like, you know, if it lasts on site where we're taking it one year and the components are no good for that particular application, I'd love to bring them back home and then build out something to charge this electric car something similar so you could set up a mobile charging station for an electric vehicle or an electric bike really easy with something like this you just expand the uh the battery have a larger battery and then you could have just one solar panel if you were only going to charge once a week if you had a large battery that's very doable what i think would be the most useful application for uh, a simple solar water pump like this is just to raise the water level if you had a spring or a pond and it's low in the landscape use something like this and just raise that water just slightly higher in the landscape that could be an old bathtub a cattle trough if you have a water tank higher up on the hill if you can get water during the daytime even if it's a trickle to start filling that tank and then let's say uh, worst case scenario, you don't have sun for a week. You now have a bank of water at the top of the hill that can be pulled down for irrigation with gravity. So use the electricity when you have it and try to prioritize the system that uses the gravity. It's starting to get a little bit more sun on the panel, so we're going to go behind and see what it's producing now. pump off for a second. So just a, a side note, the DC, whatever you're running that's a straight DC electrical load, which is currently a simple bilge pump, this enter button on a EP Ever charge controller, it's just a start stop. You can hear it start. And then it stops. So it's a really, really simple setup. I mean, it's it's basically a glorified 
uh, battery operated flashlight if you want to think about it like that so about one amp from the solar panel and I think I skipped past it so 14 volts huh that's interesting um, another thing I'd like to try is hooking some different solar panels up this is um, it's actually one of the smaller solar panels I have and oddly enough the larger ones that cover about three by six feet um, were cheaper to buy I think they were older you can you can see on this one it's dented so it was discounted yeah, it's still 14 volts I'm gonna stop the video and or that's a uh, 1.4 amp sorry so I'm going to stop the video and come back later when the sun's fully hitting the panel. So we're at 18 volts now, and as the video was stopped, I was looking at the panel. It's super dirty. I didn't bother cleaning it. Um, and then I realized something that it doesn't matter. You, you don't need, once you get this system set up, you don't need to know watts, amps, volts, any of that. You can have a... This is a decent battery, but you can have a bad battery, um, a simple charge controller, and a beat-up, busted, dirty solar panel. And as long as it's enough to power a small device like this, the water is what you're after. And you get that water higher in the landscape, and that's your actual battery. That's the potential you can use for irrigation, growing. You can feed it to your house if it's high enough, and you get enough water pressure a lot of potential with something really simple like this so I hope to keep experimenting with these little setups um, I just use scrap wood and simple components uh, a lot of the components are from Santan Solar but also if you need help with something like this I would check out Missouri Wind and Solar they've been really helpful in some of my builds when I had questions that I didn't understand what was going on they're super helpful, really knowledgeable, and they have a lot of things that you might not be able to find at Santan Solar.